burnout because obviously it's the only thing that's the perfect height for building and standing on. Here's a beaver dam. Yeah, now you just gotta be careful not to get killed looting it. You wanna know something? Can you guess where it's at? Where? Behind your house. Where we didn't even look. In the water? No. On the beach. But behind your house, though. And there ain't shit in here but mushrooms and wood and a little bit of cementing paste. Well, that's what you were supposed to be getting. Cementing paste. Yeah, but there ain't hardly any cementing paste. Well, it doesn't matter how much it is. Uh, Every little bit helps. That is true. I got that one cleared, so now I'm looking for more. There is another way to get cementing paste. You craft it, can't you? Yeah. So I just watched a bird swoop down and pick up a fish. Yeah, that's a Nick the Ornus. It eats fish. It was kind of neat. Yeah. The other way that you can make cementing paste is to kill large numbers of bugs. And collect their kite. I've collected, I've crafted cementing paste before. Something. Well, it, right. it's very difficult to get enough of it together for industrial use. The main no. reason why most alpha tribes use um, beaver dams. Yes, but we're beyond those alpha tribes. Uh, actually, no. The alpha tribes are definitely beyond us. They have entire cities full of nothing but gigas and reapers and rexes. They have such large and overbloated infrastructure that it would make the meager castle that I have built appear like a child's tinker toy set. Do not question the power of an alpha tribe. It will oh, be... I'm questioning it. No, no, do not. Don't. If they say they will do something to you, if you don't follow their strictest directions, they will do it. I should know. I've been on a few alpha tribes. Now, the only tribe that's better than an alpha tribe is a mega tribe. An alpha tribe is a tribe that controls an entire server. A mega tribe controls multiple servers. Okay, I got three brachiosauruses here, all in one small spot. And what is this supposed to mean? Well, they're like merging into each other. And? Well, it's also a baddie pretty close. I'm kind of waiting for it to attack. It's, it's in that spot where we saw people die earlier. Or not people, where we saw them die earlier. It's two brontosaurs and a brachiosaur, Charlie. Huh? It's two brontos and a brachio. Are you here? No, I just remembered the spot. No, there's like three of them. Three brachiosaurs right there and one now merged together. So you said don't eat the mushrooms, right? Well, don't eat the flowers. Oh, the flowers. You can eat the mushrooms when you're safe, but don't eat the flowers. The mushrooms will blind you, making you vulnerable, but when you know you're safe, it doesn't really matter if you're blind or not. 
but the flowers will make you not safe. Because anything that can be aggressive will become aggressive when you eat them. And anything that can be scared of you will become scared of you when you eat them. Okay, I've gotten a few stacks of cementing paste. Alright, well, I ain't found shit else, so. Yeah, sometimes the beavers don't spawn for a little while. Usually they get to spawning back after I wipe them. Well, I do need, however, some food, so. Well, there's food back at the base, and there's also plenty of bushes around. You know something? Somebody named Giovanni, John Giovanni. How do we not... How do we know that isn't his name? I don't have an answer to that. Yeah, I mean, because... They've never said his first name. The, the goons of Team Rocket always just refer to him as the boss or Giovanni. So... How do we know his name isn't John Giovanni? I mean, he's either John Giovanni or Don Giovanni. Yeah. Because, you know, he is a Don of a criminal organization. Make sense, in a way. Yeah. I don't like the sound of whatever I'm hearing. Yes, well, I'm sure whatever you're hearing doesn't like the sound of you either. There's a little monkey here. Oh, yes, yes. Would you like to know how to tame it? Not really, no. I'm more or less afraid that what I'm hearing might be a, a razor tooth. Or something nearby. Does it sound like... Yeah, Give there's definitely some, There's something definitely big up there. Okay, well, you may want to get out of there because if he catches up with you and you're low to the ground, he will frighten your pteranodon and he will scare you to death. And by scare you to death, I mean he'll frighten your pteranodon until it runs out of stamina, and then it'll land, and then it'll eat it. Well, it seems pretty occupied. Well, it doesn't matter. It'll eventually target you anyway, so you just need to get the hell out of there as soon as you can. I'm cooking food. Well, you started a campfire. I did. <laughs> okay, you see, that's not good. You need to get out of there. You are getting entirely too comfortable in that area. Damn right I am, especially with this female forest elephant. Okay, now, you see, you may think that forest elephant will keep you safe. No, oh, no it's if not something bites you, it will kill you. Because it doesn't know how to separate you from its attack. You're standing in the way, it will smash. And that is fun. There's only, you know, two of them here, plus a turtle. No, nope, I mean, there's a predator in the road. area, remember? Yeah, there's a lot of predators in this area, I'm sure. Yeah, obviously. So get out of there. Some days I wonder if you're here. No, I'm not here. Oh, you could be. No, no, I couldn't. I really couldn't. 
There's also I the could... big turtle thing that I couldn't see that one time across the water. Like, way across the water. A tortagar? You oh, and see... there's, there's a... There's a special thing there, too. Where, wherever this predator is. God damn it. Okay. What? Special thing? Uh, the... Th yeah, tortagar. Um, the research things. Those are called explorer notes, Charlie. Yeah, those. You need to remember words. Do you remember words, Charlie? No, not words. really. Well, you need to start. Eventually, Elizabeth will be old enough to talk, and she'll say, What's that, Daddy? And then I'll walk in and say, Daddy can't tell you. Daddy's too stupid. So yeah, it's a razor tooth, a level ten razor tooth attacking something. Don't let the level fool you. Doesn't matter. Whatever it was, long. he just ate it. Whatever he was fighting, he just ate it. Yeah, the reason why it, he ate it, despite the fact he was only a level ten, because he's a razor tooth. Yeah, he's a razor tooth, and everybody deals bleed damage. I don't know. He's a good bit away now. And I got Never the, I feel you're safe I got the around research. This. I got the research notes, and now I'm leaving. Never feel that you are safe, because you are not safe. If you're within a mile of that damn thing, you aren't safe. That thing will bleed you dry. And then suckle your marrow. Suckle my marrow. Yes, suckle the marrow from your bones. Rich and delicious marrow. So tasty. I'm going to go ahead and put up the fire and head back. Yeah, probably. Probably be a good idea to get the hell out of there. Because for some odd reason you weren't smart enough to bring, bring food. I had food and I just ate it. You know what? I deeply regret this. Um, hmm. What are we regretting? No, what am I regretting? What are your what 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 am I regretting? <laughs> not not smashing you with a brick when I had the chance. I mean we could fix that. No, it's too late now. I'd have to sign a bunch of paperwork. Be much easier just to go on being upset with you. No it would just be a shame. A megalodon just swoop, swooped up out of the water and just ate me right now. Mm -hmm. Shame's a strong word. <laughs> it took my spyglass! Yeah, it took your spyglass. Uh, wait, what took your spyglass? Some little thing! It's a little bastard! Oh, yeah, yeah, those. Um, yeah, you, you want to get that back. Oh, well, he's running into the forest. Well, you better catch him. Cause I'm not and he took something else. Because I'm not spawning you in another one. We can craft them now, so I'm not getting you another one. I got it back. Okay, well. And then I took its body. Almost got into the forest, or who knows what would have got me. Well, probably every raptor from here to Kalamazoo. Don't want to fight the. And he took my spyglass again. Yeah, he took your spyglass again because you keep letting him. You need to see the little annoying, noisy bastards running up towards you. I, I'm actually, I'm accidentally attacking them, thinking Smart. that they're dodos. They're not dodos, Charlie. I see this. They make loud noises. Yeah, I notice this as I land to attack them. They like run up to you. And shriek. Uh, there's quite a lot does. of them here. You run They're up not... to you and shriek like your wife does. 
They're not far from your house, believe it or not. They're not far from anywhere, Charlie. They're all over the damn place. They're friggin' Pego Mastax. Okay, good. The greenhouse is done. It's very small. What I would consider a conservative greenhouse, honestly. You damn conservatives. Charlie, you do realize conservative means economically feasible, right? Maybe. You have no damn idea. Conservative basically just means very, um, staunch, very simply non-flamboyant. Everything's very functional, small, compact, just in general good. Yeah, now I can work on the pipes. Actually, I want to change that door up there to a... Um... Yeah, I think we have enough for that. Is there not a... Um... I have my view distance up, but is there not like an item load in distance? Nope. Cause shit doesn't load in until it's too damn close to me. And I hate that it does that. I did, however, realize I could also turn up the scale of my hotbar. Which makes everything so much easier for me to see. Because I've been struggling with that. There we go. Yeah, now we have fully automatic doors to the greenhouse. Soon we'll have a piping system connecting our greenhouse to the um, water. And once we do that and we get a hold of some thiomias and dung beetles, which that'll be an adventure in and of itself, uh, we we should be able to start farming stuff. Oh, yay. Yeah, growing some crops, like carrots and potatoes. Maybe we could even grow some automated defense turrets. Grow some automated defense turrets? Actually, no, there is a plant you can grow that acts like a defense turret. You mean like growing the eight times capacitors in Minecraft? Uh, no, no, no. It, it's actually called um, uh, Plant Species X. Oh, basically, yeah. I've got that unlocked. Yeah. Well, you actually have an S-plus variant of it that you can build using a normal seed. Um, basically, plant species X seeds, uh, as long as you give them water and fertilizer, they'll fire at anything in the area that you tell them to. That, that's basically how it works. By the way, this, this tower I built looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, seriously, this is just a magnificent polygon. Just I'm currently staring into the sun, making both me and this dinosaur blind. You are just such a bad person, you know that? Yep. I don't understand why you why you said I was a bad person, really. Uh, no, I, I was just saying that to be mean. You, you are just an awful person. Yeah. I am, however, massacring the dodo population over here. Massacring the dodo population. Oh, just great. Yeah, what? you know, I mean, it's not like you could just eat berries like any normal person. As for your your this bird, actually. Because I got the XP bonus right now, so. Hmm. 
What do you think, Mr. Raptor? Do you, do you think Charlie's being dumb? I'm yes, tired. Mr. Raptor. That's why everything's think... getting bad. Yeah, he's getting dumb. I need to start making the pipes. But we already had the pipes made. Well, or were those making... pipes only for crafting? Uh, no, no, no. Making pipes, as in I have to actually put them down. The pipes, okay. Yeah, the pipes we made haven't been placed yet. I have to physically figure out where they're going to go. Okay. So that I can lay them out in an optimal fashion so we will get the most out of them. You know, like being able to put down a tap in the house so we can drink without having to go down to the water's edge and risk our life every I mean, no, I don't really risk my life where I land. Charlie, Not every often. time you land anywhere near the water's edge, you risk getting literally just murdered. Well, I guess I'm at risk right now. Well, yeah, the water is dangerous, Charlie. I'm just sitting here swimming in the shit. There are piranhas in the water. Mm, there are paraiba catfish in the water. Oh, yummy. There are megalodons and manta in the water. I don't know how I feel about them now. They're there the are crocodiles in the water. Just wrestle them. Just grab them with both hands and take them Actually, out. there are three types of crocodile. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's the sarcosuchus, the dinosuchus, and the caprosuchus. The caprosuchus is the one you won't even see coming. Why is that? Because it'll jump at you from about two miles away, grab you off the animal that you're riding on, and then kill you. Oh, I'm at the Red Obelisk. You're home. That's where you are. You're home. I, I, I'm resting no. so I can make it the rest of the way home. If you're at the Red Obelisk, it means you're home. Now I'm home. Yeah, look at, look at what I built. Ah, my sunroom. I don't like that noise. Oh. Sounds like you made the doors out of tin. Well, they are technically metal. Yeah, but tin? Charlie... Yeah. It doesn't even say what the hell they're made out of. The point is you're being I know. I know, but... Uh... but yeah, I like this tower. It'll, it'll it kind of makes, well. makes me want to jump. Why does it make you want to jump? Because it's so bad. The sound. It's not bad. It's good sound. It's chills down my neck. I mean, it's better than rust it's... noise. You know? And I know everyone's going to be like, oh, this is hating on Rust. Oh, no, no, I'm not. Rusty doors have worse. No, I'm talking about the game, Rust, you idiot. Oh. I haven't seen that game in forever. Yeah, it's still actually pretty popular as far as PvP playing goes. about the only thing I could really see anyone doing on it anymore. Well, I mean, that's basically what the whole game was made for, really. Yeah, that looks about right. And then I'd like the pipe go out okay I'm gonna need to get on skybacks where do I park skybacks I think he's down here yeah he's yeah. down here well it is getting kind of late Charlie well yeah. uh -huh. I wanted to have this water connected up but hopefully the next <sighs> time you log on I'll have finished the pipe system here and even got some irrigation set up and that would be great. Yeah. 
So, and, and, what did you learn today, Charlie? Um, not to fuck with the beavers. Don't fuck with the beavers. Okay, what else have you learned? That I would have much rather have just preferred to craft the cementing paste. Though the beavers was a good experience. Now I know where to get the mushrooms to smoke so I could get blind it for sure. And where to eat the, where, how to uh, find the flowers that I could force feed you. Ah, yes, you see, you've picked up some very valuable <laughs> skills right there. No, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. That is a very valuable tool, actually. Um, the f If you can force feed someone those rare flowers, it makes them public enemy number one. <laughs> Ironically, there's also another type of ammo that you can produce later on. Um, it's called um, pheromone darts. You use ammonite bile to uh, make them. And uh, right. ammonite bile, if you attack an ammonite and get covered in it, will make everything want to kill you. So if you shoot someone with a pheromone dart, everything tries to kill them. Nice. Yeah. Well, until then, I hope y'all have enjoyed this, and we will see y'all next time. Bye. Goodbye, you floppity bastards.